Hi everyone. So this is giving you a few ideas of decorative ways with your scoreboard. I don't intend to do all the detailed um, demos for you, just to give you some ideas. So this one, I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up, but it's got crisscross diamond um, pieces and it's a double track on the scoreboard. So I'll show you the techniques of that one. So this is a just a quick run through and you can play with your um, designs. So I have lines on my scoreboard so I can do diagonals easily. So what I want to do is I want the, diag the diagonal lines to come one each side of my point there. So I'm putting the point actually in between one of the lines. Okay, so then I can score all the way down either side and that starts my design. Then I can count any number along. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then score number six. And the next one. One, two, three, four, five, and score number six. And the next one. One, two, three, four, five, and I can't do any more. So I then go to this side and I start one, two, three, four, five, six. And the next one. One, two, three, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I can't do another one there. So now I need to switch to the other diagonal and again put it somewhere between one of these lines. So I'm coming down and I'm doing one each side of the diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can do however many you want. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's have a look if we can, what we've achieved. So I'm just tilting that. We've got some diamonds that we can decorate. We could decorate with peel-offs between the, all the tracks. Or the simple one, I've put my decoration on first, and then every time I can see where the tram lines cross, I've put a jewel and it picks up this sparkle in the middle. So you can put any decoration you wish, but have a go at doing some lines. Okay, so that is sample number one. Sample number two, if I can bring it up, you can see that there are diagonal lines here, but there's also straight lines down, and if I can tip it, you may see that there's, diag there's lines across as well. So we take this fancy side down and this is 14 centimetres square but any um, measurement. I'm going to come down 13, turn it, 13 and by turning it each time I can show you in a minute. It actually makes the um, lines go in a basket weave. Okay, so then we're going to go to 12. And if you don't turn it, you won't get the lines interlacing. 
12. Then we're going 11. Eleven, and I'm going to finish at ten. So we're going to go ten, 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 and it depends what um, pattern you want to do. But if I can come up here, you can now see we've got a lovely square in the middle and decorative work all around the outside. The last thing I've done is I've put a diagonal line down to where it crosses. So I go back to my black line on here and I'm going to score down to there and up, twist it, score down and score up. So if I can get the light on it, you can now see that we've got a pretty pattern um, in each of the corners. So this is the decoration I've done for this one. And if we have a look back to this one, you can tell it's part of the decoupage that should have been on top of there. Okay, so I've spread it out. I've cut the flower off here and moved it up. So I've got a lot of value out of my decoupage. Right, here's another sample that's dead easy. And this one I've actually scored onto the card itself because the card was 15 centimetres or six inches and I've scored every five centimetres or two inches. So let's have a quick go at that one. So here's my card. I open it up so I'm working on the inside. And I'm coming down five to the crease of the card. Down ten to the crease of the card. Turn it. And we're going down five, ten. So if we can come back now, we can see that I've divided it into nine panels. OK, so this one, I've just done little Christmas trees on there, but you could do anything. You could just decorate the crisscrossy bits. There's so many variations of that card. OK, now we're looking slightly more complicated. We're going to use the scoreboard to make this lovely frame. Now there's a secret to doing it. So I'm going to put that down. Thing we need to do with this one is to draw a few lines. So and this is 14 centimeters. Let's see. Okay, my inner frame, I have done three centimeters in. So that's, I'll give you the met the imperial as well. Okay. Three. So my ruler's got a grid on it. So I know that if I put my little line on here, I'm always drawing three centimetres. Oops, doesn't matter about any marks that go astray. But if you haven't got a ruler with a grid, then just measure it. Now, it's important that the lines extend right to the edge, and you'll see why in a minute. That is going to be my inner frame, and I want to do a half centimeter or quarter of an inch smaller. Let's 
to it is complicated but it's worth it so i want to do a cross on those I'm going to do a knot on those inner ones. Okay, knots and crosses. Okay, so I'm going to mark the inner frame first. So I line up the inner markings with my black line. I go in where the knot is, and from that knot, I come down to the other knot. Now, you can swivel round if you wish and go from naught to naught. You need to slide back up again because it will go off your board. Each time I am matching up this line that's extended to there. Now we need to do these crosses. So I'm sliding it across and I'm going from cross to cross. Turn it, go from cross to cross, cross to cross, and finally cross to cross. Now, if I can bring that up to the camera, I'll try and tilt it a bit. We've got a perfect um, frame. So what I'm going to do with that one is put the board to one side for the moment and just need to make sure I've got the sharp end of my knife and I can go in and simply come along the score line, always pulling towards you. Now it may not look it but I can see clearly where that line is right and there just a few hairs just caught there now if I can bring in a piece of coloured card there you can clearly see we've made a beautiful frame. Okay, So the other thing that I have done is I have put a piece of pink behind here but then I've put a larger piece of pink over the whole lot and if you can catch the light there I've actually put acetate behind here so it makes it really really stand out and look very expensive. Okay, so that is one part of a decoupage. So we'll put that to one side. We'll go back and look at these later. So that was a frame. Now if we have a look at this one, we'll see that I've used another piece of this decoupage on here, but instead of having a square aperture. We've now got a diagonal one. So this is not much different except that your lines are going in different directions. So this was 14 centimetres. So I need to measure and mark the centre point which I'm working on the back. Oh, not I am now working on the back of the card. This has got a slight linen effect to it. The important thing when you're doing these is to know which line you want to marry up. So I'm going to take these and I'm just doing a faint line matching up the points halfway points. Right, 
Now I'm going to measure in um, probably two centimeters. No, nope, we'll go three. Two, uh, one, two centimeters. And when I draw my lines, I must extend to the outside. So it's that on. Check round there, all right. Now, this is where it crosses, but I want an outside line as well. So I'm going to just go round with another line. You can do a single, single track if you wish, but the whole um, thing with this tutorial is to get you to play with ideas and just use scrap card. I'm going to mark with a cross the second frame so that I don't get confused. Okay, but just enjoy playing. In comes the scoreboard and we go to any of the lines I've got. I need to ignore the outer bit because that was just finding out where our centers were. Now I'm going to line up this outside one and I'm going from cross to cross. Turn it round. Line up from cross to cross. You can give it any symbol you want so long as you can identify the different bits that cross over. The other way to do it is to use coloured pencils and do each of them in a different colour. Now I'm going to move it over slightly and I'm going from the north to the north. Line it up. North to north. And one more. Not to not. Right, now if I can come in with that, you can see I've got my diamond marked in there. And again, we can come in with the sharp knife. And I'm always leaving the score line on there because that's part of the decoration. Now we can take that out. Don't be tempted to pull if there's a few hairs caught. Right, let's see if I can bring that in. Right, now you can see we've got the diamond. I can come up, you can just see the outline. Okay, so I've used peel offs inside that tram line. Okay, and I've put peel-offs around the outside as well, corners, but I've put a pale pink underneath, acetate, but a darker pink to do the outside border. So it's tying in the light pink, the dark pink, and the gold is just picking up the highlights of gold from off the decoupage. Right, then we come to this little lady here. So this time I have used separate pieces of card to score some tram lines. So this piece here, you can adjust it to anything you want, but I've made it, um, let's just double check, four centimeters. So if I have here. Um, I'm 
I'm going to do eight centimeters and I'm making two two lots of four. There. Right. Now my first line, I want to come right down the edge. And the next one to it. Right there, and the next one to it. So now I have I can come back up and try and catch the light. I have double tram lines each way, and I know that this piece in the middle is two and a half centimeters or an inch. So I'm going to cut a three quarter inch strip um, in color or a two centimeter strip in color. So let's cut. Two centimeter strip. Now, this strip will go right down between my tram lines. I'm going to come back to that piece in a minute. So I'm going to glue down between the tram lines and do an inset of colour. And then it's easy to just chop off There we go. So I've got four centimetres, two tram lines, and a piece coming down the middle. Now I'm going to take this and glue it onto another piece of pink. I'm going to lose some of the weight of the palm because we're going to cut with fancy scissors. And I'm going straight across the bottom. Straight across the top. And then I'm putting my scissors down the side of the white piece. I match, match, match my scissors up. Right, so let's bring that up and you can see it's a lovely decorative piece. So when we bring in my card, that will fit exactly on the side of my card and I've made another one matching to go there. But the nice thing about this is if you stick it right down the center of this panel and leave this bit free, you can then take a piece of acetate. I've bent the little angel so she's standing slightly proud. But then if you look, I've put a piece of acetate on there, which I've tucked right behind that strip. So it's not glued in, but I've just taken this now and I've made it. I can, I don't know if I can hold it up to the camera, but this is just slightly bowed. So she appears 
the end there. And one of the things that I've done, I do like cutting my decoupage up. So if you look, she's holding a wreath. Well, what I've done is taken off the bottom piece of the second layer and I've put it on her hair because I thought that just sort of made it really lovely. Okay, so lots of ideas for you to try. There are hundreds of other things that you can do with your scoreboard, but this is part one and I will add more complicated bits in um, in due time. Okay, so have a play with your scoreboard. Don't be afraid of it and see what you can come up with. Right. Have fun. God bless.